June, the month of June, uh, was a very exciting month in Korean history. This was the beginning of democracy in Korea. Now, there had been pressure for democracy for many years before then, but there had been a succession of military leaders, Park Jung-hee and then uh, Chun Doo Wan, and, uh, and No Tae Woo also. So uh, there, was, there were tremendous demonstrations uh, that really brought about the pressure for the democracy constitution and the first election under uh, the democracy constitution in December of uh, 1987. Uh, I'm familiar with the, the overall 1987 uh, democratization movement, um, which of course uh, turned a chapter in arguably Korean history when you move from authoritarian governments to a government by and of the people. Looking back on it now, I consider this period in South Korea as something of a transition where South Korea was moving from a military dictatorship, a quasi kind of democracy, to uh, a firmer sort of laissez-faire uh, democracy that exists today. Well, Lee Han Yeol became a uh, symbol, uh, a martyr in the uh, campaign for democracy. Basically, the uh, demonstrations of 1987 were more or less nonviolent. There was a lot of tear gas, there, was a lot, there were a lot of fireworks, but no, no massacre, which you'd seen in Gwangju in uh, 1980. However, people were injured. The most severely injured was this gentleman, who, a student at Yonsei, who was injured by a grenade that struck him in the head, and uh, ultimately, a few hours later, he, he died, and he became a martyr for the uh, cause of democracy. Um, I've done quite a lot of research and I reported on uh, Park Jong Chol, who was the student who was killed much earlier. Um, he was waterboarded to death in the secret Namyongdong police station, which is now a museum to the pro democracy movement. Um, what happened in 1987 was things went wrong. Park was killed, the nation was very, very angry, there were massive demonstrations, student led demonstrations. Lee Han Yol was killed accidentally. And that was, that was the tipping point. When I think of E. Han Yol, I think of the need that any type of movement has for some type of symbol that will help it rally and give it impetus. E. Han Yol provided a martyr for South Koreans to remember the sacrifices that many had made historically for South Korea to become the democracy that it is today. And we think back again to the March 1st movement and Yu Guan Son and the role that she played again while things didn't change, particularly in 1919, she provided that symbol, that martyr that South Koreans looked to, to provide inspiration for emancipating the country from Japanese colonial rule and even today in terms of establishing a firm and stable democracy. We're talking about 1987, we've got to talk about 1980, which is the, the Kwangju massacre and uprising, which shocked Korea uh, and obviously it temporarily halted the demonstrations in Gwangju, but then we saw a massive student movement across the country, um, largely centered on certain campuses in Seoul, uh, which continued through the 80s. And Korea now, again, is a dramatically different country. So you know, this is a country where a lot of change has happened in a very short um, space of time. Well, you know, Korea has gone through more than one uh, uh, revolution or uprising of the streets. 1987 was one, and then in, in uh, 2016 and into 2017, we had the Candlelight Revolution, which was also even more nonviolent than the uh, 1987 uh, um, revolution, if you want to call it that, uprising demonstration. Uh, so that's very much of a difference from other countries where you have rather bloody revolutions and uprisings that result in... So uh, Korea has, has had quite a distinctive uh, recent history as a, as, a, as a democracy. 
I wouldn't say that Korean democracy is unique, uh, but I would say it's still very, very young. So I think there's a strong sense of activism, political activism among the people. And that's a good thing. Uh, and we've seen a very, very um, peaceful but effective form of civil disobedience here. When you've got a million people on the streets and virtually no violence. So that was a, a highly effective form of civil disobedience.